Okay, so um, just been picked up, being driven to the set. Got a, a message from the director uh, first thing this morning. Uh, apparently, one of the crew members has dropped out because of illness. Um, so is one of the cast members. So we're having to divert to a backup script. So we're going to be learning it on the fly. Sparking. Nothing's happening. Is it switched on at the wall? It's not switched on at the wall. <laughs> When you first start out doing filmmaking, you're taught that it's about problem solving and tenacity. And we learnt this the hard way on the day we planned to shoot our first short as Rolling Tide Productions. I woke up to a text from the mother of our lead child actress and a key crew member, both saying they couldn't make it due to illness. Instead of cancelling, I frantically wrote another script that morning and buttered up my actors by taking them to McDonald's breakfast, where I presented them with the new script. They did an amazing job with a script they'd never seen before, though we did need to cheat a little. As it was only me and my husband on crew and I had no time to block, I made the script as easy to film as possible. As you can see, I'm in a wheelchair which lends its own difficulties on set. One major challenge to filming when you're in a wheelchair is operating the camera. Fortunately, there's a great iPad app that allows me to control the camera from my iPad. And the boom pole is relatively light, so that I could swap roles with Paul when I needed him to do some camera movements when I couldn't get to it. We also had to change locations suddenly. The location was quite small, so it was actually quite lucky it was only me and Paul on crew and our two actors. Sound and music make up 50% of a film. My composer Amy was amazing. I've worked with her before and so I knew she could create the perfect emotional touch needed to add to this film. We used the NTG4 Rode mic on a boom pole to capture the dialogue and record some foley. One crucial thing to capture is 30 seconds of room tone so you have some sound to fill in those gaps in the edit. So as I said, filmmaking is problem solving. Filmmaking is taking the punches and getting back up again. You can be as planned as you like, but sometimes you just have to think on your feet, or in my case, think on my wheels. That's day two completed, and we are wrapped. Woo!